like everything JT said is definitely what I can relate to from like start to finish. It's so difficult for me to to like date. It's so hard because um I'm a very I have a strong personality and I'm a strong woman. So I'm not no weak ass female. Like I'm not a weak female at all. At all. I'm not a weak female at all. I have a big, I'm, I have a big body, big backbone. Okay. Like I'm not a weak female that will take nonsense. You do something to me. I'm going to just be a pushover and act like it didn't happen or just, you know, tread lightly. No, I'm going to tread heavy. Like what's up? What's good? You know, don't play with me. I'm that type of female. I even, I, I even have socks that says no nonsense. I bought socks one time just because it said no nonsense because I'm a no nonsense type of female. It's difficult for me to date because, you know, guys are masculine. I'm used to, I didn't grow up with a father, so I'm used to just handling things on my own and being my own boss and just, you know, being independent. I never had to ask a dude for anything, so I don't need you. So that's how I act. And so when I get in a relationship, it's like, I treat the dude like an accessory. <laughs> that sounds so bad, but because I don't need you, I can, if anything, if I go broke, if I, go, whatever it is, I can take care of myself. I can find a way. I don't need to do for anything because I've always had, you know, for my, I, I've always had without a man. You know what I'm saying? Um, I was raised in a single parent household. And then on top of that, when I got to school and graduated, I was able to provide for myself. I didn't need any dude. I, I never, ever had my hand out. I am not, you know, a handout, hey, give me, give me type of female. Like I get, get. So because I don't need a dude, it's very easy for me to disrespect the dude because I don't need you. You can go. But it's like when you love somebody, you can't do that because they will go and not look back. Like that's why. My relationships don't be lasting because my mouth is like, it is what it is. You have to be able to handle, you know, because I'm like JT, like you got to be able to handle me because if you can't, if you can't make me fear you, like if I've, I have yet to meet a dude that could make me really like that, that makes me fear him, not in an abusive way, but have me so in check and so in line that I'm afraid to like say or do anything that'll make them leave. Like I've, I've yet to met a dude that could make me, that put me, that can just look at me and I'm just in line in order. It's dudes out there that could do that. I just haven't met one. It's people that, it's dudes out there that can actually just like, they don't even have to talk to their chick. Like they know that the, the girl already knows the drill she already knows what not to do don't play with daddy do not do it because if daddy gets upset it's a wrap for you honey like not abusively but like you know what I mean like dudes there are dudes out there that will have no problem no matter how good you look they they have no problem with leaving you because you know because of your behavior and JT was like, she's bossy and controlling. And I am, I'm not even going to cap. When she said that, I was like, oh, I'm controlling. I like to be in control of things. I like for you to do as I say. And I like for you to, you know, um, I like for you to follow my rules. Do as I say. You know, I want you to do what I want you to do. And I want you to do it when I want you to do it. And I want you to move how I tell you to move and move how I want you to move. And you cannot be like that. You're the lady. You're supposed to be submissive. But I wasn't raised submissive. I was raised, you know, like a boss, like by myself, no handouts, get it on my own, find a way, provide for myself. I don't need you. So what you mean be submissive? Like that's foreign to me. I'm learning and I'm learning and molding myself into being that type of woman, but no cap, like, I really genuinely, genuinely be telling these dudes what to do. Like I literally be violating these dudes and this is why I'm single because I don't be caring. Like I say anything out of my mouth, pop anything out of my mouth. I have no respect. I disrespect the fuck out of them and I won't give a damn about it because I don't care because I'm me and I can say whatever I want to say. That's my mentality. And then I'm controlling, you know, I, I tell them what to do, what, when to do it. And if I, if I don't get my way, 
I'm, 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 I'm popping off. I'm snapping off. I'm nagging. Like I'm mad as hell. I'm just pissy. I'm mad. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, I haven't found a dude that could really make me just calm down and make me really just respect him. Like a dude that is so cool and so nice and so, and so amazing and so strong that he makes me want to respect him. He makes me want to love him. He makes me want to be submissive. There are dudes out there that are really great guys that don't have to abuse you and nor, 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 nor do they have to like dominate you in order to control you or make you do what they tell you to do. There are dudes out there that are so just bomb and good dudes that they're so good. You, you're moved to walk and follow their lead because of how great and how good they treat you. Like they'll treat you so good to the point where it's like, I want to respect you. I want to love you. I want to, I want to do what you tell me to do because you're such a great guy. But even if you're a great guy, still, I'll still try you. I'll still try it. So if I try it, if you can't put me, if you can't put me in order, it's not going to work. It's just not. It's not if you can't put me if you can't put me in order and in proper place and in line and in position, it's not going to work. <laughs> if I'm not scared of you and I'm not scared to lose you, I'm popping. I'm popping my shit. It's not going to work, period. And I'm going to just be single. But when I do find a guy that can, you know, that has me like in order, I'll let y'all know. But I don't see it happening soon. <laughs> y'all pray for me, though, because, y'all, my ass is going to be single for life if I think I could just run these dudes. And it's like the dude is, is, is masculine. He's not supposed to be ran over. You feel me? I just hope that I meet, I meet a guy that treats me so good that I want to respect him because I don't respect men because of my dad. And that's why I be, you know, acting the way that I act. But I don't want to be like that. But that's just my truth. That's just what it is. I'm a JT. I'm not from Beverly Hills. I'm from Miami. So I don't get, I don't care. I don't give a fuck. Like I'll say whatever out of my mouth and it's not cool, but that's the reality. And I mean, am I working on it? That aspect of my life? No, I still don't give a fuck. But one day if I meet a dude that's worth it, I'll change. But until then, fuck these niggas, period. <laughs>